Hey guys, what's going on? It's Nock. Welcome along to another Worms Reloaded battle between Deathwish 808 and a load of crap. And today we are seeing a change of scenery as we enter an Arctic environment here for this rather short contest between our two warriors. And it is a load of crap here to get us underway in the center left of the map. Not really many options or easy options here straight off the bat, but uh, we're going to see what he can do. Can he get a grenade in that gap? I'm thinking possibly not, but he's just going to look to open up that area and bring that mine a little bit closer to Deathwish 808 in the early stages here of the game. As we now head over to that worm, who's probably not going to get the ability to do a lot. He can just poke his little wormy head out of that hole, though. And uh, in retaliation for that shot against a load of crap. Action today comes from the 1st of June. So I apologize. I've been sitting on this for a couple of weeks. But we are here now. And Deathwish with the grenade on top of the canoe. He can't actually make his way back up. And a load of crap is down. Triggers off the mine. Big damage indeed to a load of crap. Almost killing off the worm, leaving him with eight health. But can to imagine next time around for that worm of Deathwish, uh, it is going to be game over for a load of crap's worm. Back now with a load of crap on the top left. And fortunately, he's a little bit boxed in there. He can't really do a lot to move to the right because of that mine and looking at the sort of geometry and the layout of the map you've got that sort of bent candy cane pole kind of thing um, which is going to prevent any shots so anything here is just going to need to be nicely lofting in the air with the bazooka can he get through now he just couldn't quite get the angle it just went a little bit too high didn't quite arc enough but if he could get a bazooka shot sorry it's nice and steady it might actually be able to uh, get through that gap and uh, there's at least some hope there of creating some damage on Deathwish's worm. And we're back with Deathwish now, right at the bottom mid. And he's trying his best to uh, get up to the top there, which he does. Now, what's he going to do here? Is he going to just throw a grenade in the pit, or is he going to try and bring the mine into play? Let's see, the grenade is down, and it's right next to a load of crap. Watch the mine. And it uh, nicely done. Sends a load of crap's worm over into the path of the mine. And another real big damage there from Deathwish 808. Two fantastic shots and a lot of damage taken. So a load of crap really is on the back foot here. Two worms already within one hit kill. Let's see what he can do though. He's got uh, first real shot he's got on one of Deathwish's worms. <laughs> I've really got the option here of the one below now. Can he send the worm down? I don't know if he's going to have enough yeah, here to send it in the path of the mine. He probably would need to use a grenade if he wanted to do that. Good effort though with the bazooka. And he puts his worm back to safety on that right hand side. But Deathwish's worm didn't quite fall in that pit. I think there was a, a little like handle sticking out there just on the far right, which kind of prevented that from happening as Deathwish now. To moving his worm over to the left hand side and you got to think here it's going to be a relatively easy shot here from Deathwish just unfortunately the angle wasn't quite right just comes up a little bit short and it falls down below creating a hole from top to bottom if nothing else it could have been really catastrophic for a load of crap had that have hit it would have probably reduced him to uh, only one worm that wouldn't be in well, one hit radius there. Here. Let's see what he's going to do here. I think he's, is he going to commit suicide? Nope. Okay. He's going to try and send the worm onto the mine. The worm is on the mine indeed. And it's going to set off the barrel. Is there going to be any? No, he has drowned the worm. So despite the fact a load of crap had um, taken a lot of damage in the early stages, he is the first one to eliminate a worm. Very good indeed. I didn't know if he was going to like almost commit suicide there and, and hope that the death animation took care of it. I hadn't initially seen the mine and the barrel on the left-hand side, but good place grenade shot will always throw that worm over into the path 
of um, the mines and barrels and stuff. So well thought out there from a load of crap. Again, this is why these two guys are what I consider the creme de la creme when it comes to Worms. Players have been playing it for years, and uh, they often see moves and tactics that... I don't, as Deathwish here is running out of time on the shot clock. Only five seconds left. What's he going to do? Quickly. It's up with a second to go. And yeah, really did sort of run out of time to do anything there. And now we are back with a load of crap. Bottom left. And you got to think that this is uh, going to be this worm's last turn here. Because uh, he's only on eight, eight health, sorry. He's going to try and retreat uh, as far as he can, possibly. And, and uh, a direct shot will bring Deathwish's worm down to 30. Well, but, uh, yeah, you got to think yeah. that uh, it's a real easy grenade shot, and it's that worm next to go. It's a really simple grenade shot for Deathwish. Just a simple up and over, and it will be in. And a load of crap will be down to three to level the playing field. Deathwish's worm there is uh, well protected from anybody. Oh, now, hold on a minute. It's not going to kill him, but it could do some serious damage here. 25 is the maximum. He takes another 15, uh, 14 Sorry, from Deathwish's worm, so... Yeah, he was. Um, luckily, he was. He was out of range of like the maximum damage. The, the death animation. If you are on top of a, another worm, it will cause twenty-five damage to you. So he was never going to kill him, but he could have. He had the opportunity there to bring him down to a solitary five points. Oh crap! Here, trying to play some plinko, but the grenade just sticks on the lip there, and uh, it's actually done quite well. Good shot. <laughs> That's going to kill the worm off. Just when I thought that that worm was uh, out of harm's way and perfectly safe, a load of crap with a bit of fire damage there, sending it down to the worm and kills it. He got really unfortunate there with the grenade, though. The grenade just didn't roll off the edge, as you might expect that it would have done. But uh, certainly makes up with it with the that uh, fire damage. Is Deathwish now doesn't make the same mistake again. There's the... Uh, Grenade damage. The the mine was a one second mine and just rolls away just enough just to not cause maximum damage there to a load of crap. But it was an extra twenty on the already forty five inflicted from the grenade. So uh, another worm of load of craps is now down to one hit. But uh, he does have the upper hand in terms of worms at this moment in time. It is three plays two. Waiting, waiting for the shocking and amazing. Uh, can he time this grenade shot to perfection? I think he's going to try and roll it around this curve here in the hope that it'll just drop through by the end of the uh, the fuse. It'll just drop through the hole at the bottom and uh, hopefully either... Oh, no, he was going to change that for the bazooka. Okay, interesting. I thought he was going to roll a grenade around that curve and then in the hope that it would go off that and push Deathwish's worm the into the path of that, that mine. Yeah. But that worm now does get to retaliate. Now, Deathwish has had that area opened up quite a bit here, so he hasn't got to worry this time about the uh, angles and things. You remember in the last shot for this worm, he ran the clock down trying to decide what to do. But uh, let's see this time around. Grenade is up. It goes off. Is the fire going to come down? No, the fire is there for a load of crap. I did wonder whether or not it was going to come back and uh, fall in Deathwish's path, but it does not. And that uh, was a good chunk of damage. 31 taken. Now, what can a load of crap do with this worm at the bottom here? Who's this guy going to go for now? He might try and uh, almost tunnel up. With the bazooka to try and create a hole here. Has to be careful though, because that worm does get to go next. I think he's just opened up a gap there that you could potentially get a grenade through. So watch this. I think Deathwish is. I oh know he's not going to go for it. He's not going to go for it. Okay. He's going to try and take the guaranteed 35 here by throwing the grenade through. And that is that. We are back to a two on two. <laughs> Nice bit of momentum generated from that grenade, pushing a load of craps worm well and truly out of that hole. Not that it matters. 
So it's interesting now. We've got two worms in the centre, which are kind of isolated. There is a little tiny gap that they could attack each other from. And then we've got the two worms on this right-hand side here. A load of crab has a much better shot, though, this time. But I don't think the worm is close enough to the right-hand edge. Unless he can do that, that was a good shot. But Deathwish's worm gets really lucky and just lands on that ledge. And um, got to, you've got to think that if... The worm hadn't have landed on that ledge. The mine would have come into play there for Deathwish's worm, and we would have seen a whole different outcome there. But Lady Luck certainly shining on that worm this time. There's a load of crap now is flung down to the pit below. But uh, looking at the health and bits and pieces, apart from Deathwish Worm on top, every worm here is within one hit range, and you've got to think a load of craps next turn with that right worm is going to absolutely decimate death wishes 33 worm <laughs> now what can a load of crap do here is he going to try and get one through the hole uh, you never know. Uh, no. he does not but he opens the gap up but he has put his worm on the ledge here now does death wish have an angle with the bazooka i think he might the grenade shot may or may not may be off i think the grenade shot is off i don't think he can get a, a, a good enough angle throwing it down but then like i said these two guys are these two are really good players only five damage and Deathwish does not i repeat does not get his worm far enough away now i think what we're gonna see here though is we're going to see a load of crap finishing off the 33 worm on the right I'm, I'm and Deathwish there, will get so. another shot with that worm at the top on a load of crap's six health worm so i think we're going to see a bit of a game of chess yeah, well, opening up guess. anytime soon between right. Deathwish's central and a load of crap's to, uh, right hand worm as there we go Deathwish's yeah, worm is like dead i want to have to uh, like i say you would expect now Deathwish to finish off a load of crap's six worm here in the middle to take it down to the one-on-one. -on -one. Is he going to stick with the grenade? I think he is. A bazooka shot at this angle is very risky. You run the such a risk of hitting. Oh, that backfired. Are you, I, I'm very tentative when like aiming downwards because you run the risk of hitting the floor and either blowing yourself up or the grenade not going where you want it to go and sticking to the floor near where you are. Now, what can a load of crap do here? If he could get a shot here and flow, sorry, flung, fling, flung. It's not passing. It hasn't happened yet. Fling Deathwish's worm to the left, which he doesn't do. Unfortunately, I think the wind sort of kept the but If he could have caused Deathwish's worm to fling there to the left, there is two mines there, and that could have probably won the game. Could have probably. That's a, a great sentence, not. But yeah, and. Uh, Deathwish there is just buying his time. Doesn't really need to take the worm yeah, back at this point because a load of crap has got two in play. But I want to try something different. But I think he's. Uh, I don't know if that was I mean, accidental or on purpose, but he is creating water pits down there. So any sort of movement for a load of crap either side could result in death. So any sort of shot though nearby is going to cause death when you think about it because he's only on six. So you don't, Deathwish doesn't even really have to get too close to be able to make an impact here. But let's see what he can do here. This is the shot that matters. He needs to get this one or else a load of crap gets another attempt. Switching back to a grenade. Rolls it down, but it's gone too far. So does a load of crap have an angle here? Is there enough of that like floor area above where he could get a grenade up and next yeah, to Deathwish or a bazooka? Well, it's not going to be a bazooka because the wind is against him. I don't think have. it's a relatively short shot, but even still, the wind is too much against him. Now, can he get this up? He has going for a two second or a one. One second, maximum power, but no, wasn't able to thread the hole there and... Uh, Deathwish now gets another attempt. Is he going to go for the same thing, just rolling off that grenade? 
And it looks like he's going to try and go for a more direct approach here. He's bringing the worm all the way over to the edge. Well, not quite to the edge, actually. I'll be very careful here. And uh, no, wasn't able to, again, do anything. But again, moves the worm away. Doesn't really have to move it. Cause like I said before, <laughs> oh, crap, has got two worms in play. So he will have another attempt at that worm before it gets to retaliate. A load of crap now is beginning to make inroads at that area at the top in preparation for an aerial assault which is you've got to imagine he's going to come down here to a 1v1 between these two worms unless Deathwish falters again here but no there we go and that's what I was talking about it did, the shot doesn't have to be anywhere near anything that's going to cause enough of a radius damage to that worm is going to knock it into the drink and Deathwish does just that and we're down to a one-on-one -on -one. 25 plays 100 a load of crap has Ooh, opened the up the playing all. field there on the right hand shoot. side. Deathwish is the first that's going to get a chance to attack the opponent. Both ways. And what's his play going to be here? The mines are at the side of Deathwish here. If a load of crap plays his shot right, it's still potentially going to come into play here. So keep an eye on those. And Deathwish tries to kill the shot round, just wasn't quite enough. Now let's see what a load of crap can do from here. There's still a lot of geometry and debris there at the top of the map, so it's going to be very difficult to arc a shot over towards Deathwish. I think Deathwish is relatively safe here for the time being. The wind was with a load of crap and just a little bit higher, and I think that may have seen it through. But um, yeah, it's, it's a very difficult angle here for a load of crap. Deathwish can afford to sort of shoot yeah. over here because yeah, he his, his shots can drop a load of craps need to go up and it's always harder when you're shooting up as opposed to shooting down at an opponent but i am interested in to see what uh, will happen here as a load of crap now same wind as before can he compensate for the power now this time it's a little bit too much same setup as before but unfortunately just a little bit too much power that time he needs to find that middle ground of course, there's no guarantee on what the wind will be next time around as Deathwish comes a little short that time. Again, Deathwish has been long. He's been short, so he's sort of gauging that power. As long as he keeps an eye on how much power he's putting into those shots, he may get a good turn next time around when the wind is with him. Three wind again, though. And, yep. Each shot is a learning experience, and at the same time, for a load of crap, it is getting rid of more and more of that air at the top. But you've got to think, you know, Deathwish certainly does have the high ground. He's taken away that area now above a load of crap. He's going to be opening up, even if he goes long, it's going to be opening up an aerial assault on the load of crap within the next turn if you can replay that. So it's not looking good. Good crap here. Is he going to switch out to grenade? Does he feel like he's got enough here with the bazooka and one wind against him? He does. Oh, that it held up really, really nicely for him there. Just didn't quite have the distance because of the angle and because of that wind against him. Deathwish is just... He's just playing bazooka now. He knows he has got the advantage here. He's got the high ground, to, and it's a load of crap that needs to do the work. But just one shot, which pushes Deathwish over to that left-hand side, is all it's going to take for some big damage on that worm. Could potentially win the game. Let's see what a load of crap can do with this grenade. All the previous shots have been bazooka shots. He's got no experience at all with that. So it comes up short. And it is uh, Deathwish again here. He's uh, wind against him. And there we go. The wind against it holds up the shot just nicely. And like I said, because he's above a load of crap, it drops nicely and kills Deathwish. Takes this solitary map tonight. And uh, well played to both individuals. Guys, thank you very much for watching. As always, we'll be back real soon with some more Worms action. But until then, I've been Nock. You've been awesome. Take care. Happy gaming.